Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today I'm gonna be viewing a, a, an old movie titled Strangers on a Train. Yes. I actually do have this film on DVD. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Like I said, I do have it on DVD. Here we go. In this movie pack. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah, once again, I'm going to be viewing a movie from this pack. So, yeah. I'm viewing yet another thriller from Alfred Hitchcock. Again. Man, I don't... I think I don't review enough of his movies anyway, so... Why the hell not? So, of course, as always, I'm gonna have to talk about the plot of this movie. So let's begin, shall we? Our lead character is named Guy. He wants to divorce his vulgar and unfaithful wife so he'll be able to marry this elegant and beautiful woman whom is a daughter of a pussy stranger who recognized Guy from the gospel items in the newspaper and wants to discuss his, you know, marital problems. During lunch in, in on the train, this, this person tells Guy about his idea for a perfect crisscross murder. He will kill someone and exchange Guy will kill the other person's father. And... Since they are unconnected strangers, there will be no way of anyone finding out of the crimes, and therefore no suspicion from the police. And but the thing is, guy, the main character, he he just detaches from this and leaves the other person thinking that he was, you know, that he agreed to this deal, which I, which guy really didn't. He just this is how the other character took it. But I can say that this was a pretty good film, folks. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I enjoy this film, and I can honestly say that it does have a pretty good story, and that's really important. It's one of the reasons that this film is really well known. I am glad that Alfred Hitchcock did place a lot of effort in this film. The writing, the dialogue is well done. Overall, this film was actually pretty well crafted in a lot of ways. And the editing in here, the editing is top notch. Yet the editing of films is had become... One of Alfred Hitchcock's trademarks, and it's definitely his style. You can definitely tell that this film is in his style, and it definitely has his certain touch. Yeah, he does. Ha he does have a certain touch to his films, and when you watch this, you can definitely tell. This film is well made, and if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it for those who haven't seen it. I did quite enjoy it quite a bit, and I wouldn't mind watching it again. The lighting was good. The stages was good, the camera angles and such were all well executed. The idea, the themes were all well were all well executed in the story. And I like the characters' outfits, the wardrobes that the actors and actresses were in here were actually really, really good as well. I liked it. This film seems like it had a solid budget for what it was. I believe that this film might be out on Blu-ray, but Still, nonetheless, you could you could always get it on regular, on regular DVD. It's pretty good anyway, so either way it would be fine. I really did enjoy this film, folks. It never got boring or anything. The pacing in here was pretty good, in my honest opinion. I know that a lot of movies during this period of time, during this period of time, a lot of movies back then that had been taking place on a train. This film pretty much takes place on a train, which to me doesn't bother me very much. I think it's pretty cool. It takes place on a train, and that makes it seem really enjoyable in some kind of way. And I wouldn't mind enjoying it, watching this again. You know, each time I see a train, whenever I'm on a train or seeing trains in films, yeah, I like seeing that. In a way, yeah, in a strange way, each time I see that, I do think of a certain movie. Yep, I sure do. You should take lo too long of what movie I'm referring to. Yup, this one right here. I don't know, maybe I've seen that movie too many times, I guess. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool if, you know, 
We, it's like, I want to know what if Alfred Hitchcock directed that movie. You know, what if he actually did? I would have watched it. It's also very violent and suspenseful. Like some of Alfred Hitchcock's films. Alfred Hitchcock's films can often be very, very violent. But it doesn't bother me. He does. He makes the violence happen in the film for the story. He does it for the sake of the story. And... I mean, Stranger on a on a train isn't isn't really a violent movie, but just generally speaking, he, if he makes a murder happen, if he makes it violent, he makes sure it just happen for a reason. And sometimes, sometimes some of his films do have this sexual undertone. At times, not all the time, but generally speaking, there are some of his films that have this sexual undertone towards them. Is that very explicit, but still. Alfred Hitchcock is definitely one of my favorite directors that I do really, you know, enjoy. Another director I did like is David Lynch. He's also really good at what he's doing. Ideas, you know, come along. And so, always it's the same. Ideas come. And once in a while, if you're lucky, you get one that you fall in love with. And that first idea that you fall in love with, in my mind, is like a bait. And if you focus on it, it'll bring in other ideas and a, and a bigger thing will start emerging. A sense of place is so important in any movie. A sense of place, like uh, Billy Wilder's uh, film, The Apartment. That, that film um, and Sunset Boulevard, Billy Wilder really made a, a, a place. He really made a place, in my mind. And, but every film has places, but sometimes the places could be different, I think, and make it better. And, um, but a place is super critical to me. The mood is uh, in the place. And, um, but the mood comes from the sound of the place, the light in the place, uh, and um, I guess it could come from, you know, the c colors of the place, uh, materials of the place. It's a whole bunch, of, every little detail, every little element is feeding the mood or destroying the mood. I say every interpretation is beautiful. And I, because uh, they're, they're totally beautiful and valid. I know what things mean for me. And I got to know that to, you know, to uh, go forward. And if I don't know, I got to try to find out. I got to figure it out. And, and then maybe the next idea will help that. The next idea will help that or whatever. Um, but when things get a hair abstract, um, interpretations start varying wildly. David Lynch is another talented director, just like Alfred Hitchcock. He knows what he's doing, he knows what he's supposed to do. And yeah, we need more directors like that, in my honest opinion. We need more directors like that. I'm glad that I did get this film because it's definitely worth it. And there are two other films got to review on here. But I guess I'll review them later, I suppose. And there's, there's, a ton of, there's tons and tons of Alfred Hitchcock's films I've seen. And, yeah, but yeah, I guess I'll review those some other time, I guess. You know, Alfred Hitchcock has made tons of movies. And, I mean, okay, granted, some, some were better than others, but I don't think he never made a bad movie, I think, in my honest opinion. I mean, like, but okay, granted, like I said, some are better than others, yes. But still, I still quite enjoy this film. Strangers on a Train. It's definitely worth your time, folks. It's definitely worth it. I did enjoy it. The acting was good. The editing was good. The lighting was good. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Definitely did. And it didn't feel too long either. It didn't feel like, oh my god. It should have cut off like 20 minutes or something. They never, you know, came off that way. Thank goodness. But... Yeah, like I said, the pacing is just fine. The pacing is just fine the way it is. And it has a pretty good story. It really does. 
Yeah, this is definitely a really good one in my honest opinion because lots of effort was actually played into this. It was placed in lots of effort was played in placed into this film. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know. Again, I'm reviewing an old movie. I know. Again, but hey, I like reviewing old movies. I like talking about old films. But anyway, overall, folks, Strangers on a Plane. I'll give it a total score of an 8.5 out of 10. It gets an 8.5 out of 10 from me. And of course, as always, thank you for watching and take care. See ya.